Listen to this. What do you think about it? I believe that no member of Congress, by House rule, should be allowed to accept a donation for their campaign from a federal lobbyist or a federal political action committee. That money all has strings attached to it, and anybody who tries to tell you otherwise is lying. And when members take hundreds of thousands of dollars from lobbyists and PACs, they work for them more than they work for their constituents. And guess what? I intend to offer that amendment on the House floor in January, and I already have Democrats ready to vote for it, maybe even all of them. The second thing I would suggest is that if someone is a member of Congress, they should be prohibited from lobbying for life. Why is it so hard to say that you should choose one side or the other to be on? You're either in the lawmaking game or you're in the influence peddling game. And those who choose to be in the influence peddling game, go ahead, but you should sacrifice that when you get the privilege to represent 750,000 people. I intend to offer that amendment on January 3rd, and I expect that there will be Democrats voting for it. I will also introduce an amendment to have a ban on members of Congress trading individual stocks. How can we say that that is not something that dilutes our trust in markets and in governance when people are essentially able to bet on the outcomes that they have an ability to somewhat control? Uh, and I expect Democrats to vote for that. And finally, I would observe something that has really worked well in the state of Florida, a single subject rule. A bill coming to the floor should only deal with one subject. I was incensed as a freshman when I had to vote on the farm bill and whether or not to authorize war in Yemen in the same vote. And we could still have broad bills that relate to insurance or education or appropriations, but the notion that we lash all these things together does not serve our constituents and the American people. And I would expect, if we're in the majority, Democrats will vote for my amendment for a single subject rule. Okay, man, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. I agree with everything he just said, but I might add one thing, and that's just me. You let me know if you agree with me term limit for members of Congress. The president is only there for two term. I think members of Congress should be limited to three to four term. And I am pretty sure after 68 years, there's going to be somebody else ready to do the right thing, just like Matt Gaze here, okay? Because if you think about it, some of those elected representatives have the mindset of just being there in Congress for the rest of their life, bro, and they end up enriching themselves. That's not okay. That's why we have so much corruption, Nancy Pelosi. Bro, she's been there for over 30 years. And look at San Francisco or Chicago. Chicago has been run by the same people for over 20 to 30 years. And look at Chicago, right? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I agree with Matt Gaze. I think he is trying to do the right thing, right? But term limit, I think that will be a solution. God bless you. Catch you on the next one.